been having a look around at Explore, and one of the most interesting devices I've seen is this incredible machine that's uh, just behind Suresh and Chris. And Chris, it belongs to you. It does. Yeah. What is it? Uh, this is the uh, Bomber Off-Road Wheelchair, essentially a, a mountain bike for someone in a chair. That was the idea behind it. And where have you been in it? Um, the chair is, well, we designed it, as I said, as a mountain bike, so I've used it uh, in the Alps when I've been skiing on the on the cross-country ski runs, I've used it on the fire tracks of Forestry Commission land, um, riding with friends, um, but also uh, our first prototype was used on an expedition that went across uh, Africa. Uh, Tetraplegic adventurer uh, took it on a trip from London to Cape Town. Fantastic. And you, your background is in agricultural engineering, so are there hallmarks of a classical tractor in there somewhere? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure that my, my background, my training certainly like engineering, but uh, uh, I ended up in a chair at the age of 19 and realised that my days of driving tractors were over. But love the countryside and love getting out. Uh, but there was nothing to allow me to, to give me the freedom that I used to have. So I set about with some university friends to, to design the chair. Also really interesting is that you wanted this chair to enable you to get back to doing the things that you loved before your illness uh, yes. struck. But now you're telling me that this thing is available for the public to buy? Yes, absolutely. We, we, we started about uh, marketing this uh, commercially, well, developing commercially about three years ago, and uh, we launched it in June. So, yeah, we've, uh, we're looking now to uh, start exporting to France. So things, 2008 will be a good year. Wow, fantastic. And it was Suresh's inclusive expedition seminar here at the RGS that was in some ways a catalyst for taking the idea out of your head and getting it actually built. Absolutely, I mean, we, uh, before there were any, anything on paper, we, I came here and met with Suresh, and, uh, and you could see the, the broader need for a, uh, a piece of kit that would allow people to participate in outdoor activities. Suresh, I mean, this is a fantastic example of what's available now. Agreed, yeah. And your whole legacy that you want to leave the outdoors is equipment to enable people with disabilities to get Correct. into the outdoors. Yep. It's at events like Explore and at your own inclusive expedition seminars that bring these people together. Where do you think all of this equipment is going to go next in taking people forward to get onto expeditions? I, th I think there's um, two roads. I think there's going to be um, some really high-tech stuff um, that is going to be really sort of computer-driven and, and that kind of stuff and that's going to you know help people with sensory impairments do navigation and those sorts of things but then there's also the real practical sensible engineering which actually I think um, in many ways will have a broader impact because it will be more cost-effective um, from an ethical perspective as well you know um, you know is it ethical that we use all of this technology to get into this natural environment um, and where and where do we stop wrapping ourselves up in cotton wool as explorers and just say right we've just got to rough it a bit um, and so I think there's those two two realms and for me I would always plumb for the reasonable level of engineering and reasonable use of resources um, but I think that there's also going to be this other sort of sphere of development which is going to be high-tech computer aided and that kind of stuff and that's great but uh, you know I, th I think that this things things like this are emerging because people have got different expectations greater expectations expectations actually fantastic